Good day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Classroom Professor. This week I'm going to talk to you about the count back three strategy for subtraction number facts. The worksheet that goes with this video comes from our brand new series 10 minutes a day level one subtraction worksheets. So we're doing the count back three facts. This would come after the students have done count back one and count back two and it's the last strategy for counting back. So we stop here. We don't continue to do lots of counting with bigger numbers because we need the student strategies to be efficient and we think three is as far as we'd want to go. In fact, at times I've said let's stop at two. So um, three is the limit. So one way of doing this is to do this verbally to say um, we're going to count backwards from a starting number. Then I want you to say the first two numbers with whispering voices and then say the third one and that will be our answer. So we could start at nine and say nine, eight, seven, six. And so you can make a bit of a game out of that and the students can get used to doing that. Um, to do this successfully, students will need to be really familiar with the sequence of number names going forwards and of course going backwards. A number line is a great way to show the sequence to students and we can use that for counting back. So if we start say from eight and count back three, we can easily see let's count back three steps and we'll get to five. So eight take away three is five. Basically we want the students to become really familiar with numbers so that um, they can move flexibly within the sequence of numbers and do all sorts of manipulations with different number facts. Students learn the sequence of names by rote. Of course there's no logical sequence, it's just that's the sequence that we've got and so we learn it by repetition. Generally students will learn it forwards and backwards. I remember as a child counting backwards from 10 and really enjoying getting to zero and saying blast off. Um, but we need our students to be able to start anywhere in the sequence. So not always start from one, not always start from 10 or some other number, but be able to start anywhere. So you could say, let's start from 12 and count backwards, 12, 11, 10, nine, and so on. Now that is okay when we have questions like 12 take away three. What would we do if we had a question like 12 take away nine? This is clearly more difficult. We don't immediately have the three to count backwards. And as I said before, we're not going to count back nine. So we need another way of doing this. Even though this is, a, is in the family of subtract three, it's a turnaround fact for 12 take away three. So this would come after the students have done some practice in just straight out taking away three. But it also links, of course, to the addition fact three plus nine and nine plus three. And this raises a useful strategy that we can introduce to our students, a general one for doing all number facts, and that is to think of numbers that go together in a sort of a family. So if you think about it, 9, 3 and 12 belong together for addition and subtraction in the sense that if we add 9 and 3 in either direction we get 12, and of course if we start from 12 and take away one of the other two then we get the other number. So by knowing this set of three, this family of three numbers, students actually can know four different number facts in addition and subtraction. So it's very, very useful. So that's basically it. Uh, for the count back three number facts, it's all about subtracting three, the turnaround facts as well. And basically, as I said before, helping the students to become really familiar with the numbers and be able to move flexibly within them. That's it for this week. I look forward to talking to you next time. Mm -hmm.